Hi, good morning to all of you. Now I am going to explain one theorem from chapter 6. That is page number 148, theorem 6.6. .6. The statement of theorem is already given here. That is the ratio of the areas of two similar triangles is equal to the square of the ratio of their corresponding sides. Before proving this theorem, we have to draw the two diagrams, that is diagram, uh, triangle ABC and the triangle PQR. When we are going to prove a theorem, we have to write the statement first and after that we have to draw the diagram which one is required for proving this uh, theorem. Then according to this theorem, first we have to write it here what is given. In the statement there is mentioned these two triangles are similar triangles because according to the statement there is given the ratio of two similar triangles. It means these two triangles are similar. That's why we can write it here first what is given. Triangle ABC similar to triangle PQR. And also what we have to prove that we have to write again that is Area of triangle ABC divided by area of triangle PQR is equal to AB square by PQ square is equal to BC square by QR square is equal to AC square by PR square. It means in the statement there is mentioned the areas of two similar triangle is equal to that is area of triangle ABC divided by area of triangle PQR. This is the ratio of the areas of these two similar triangles. E is equal to this. Then again there is given E is equal to square of the ratio of their corresponding side. That means the corresponding side square means AB square by PQ square is equal to BC square by QR square is equal to AC square by PR square. Then we have to prove this one. For that, first we have to construct two perpendiculars. Already I drawn here two perpendiculars that is AM perpendicular to BC and PM perpendicular to QR. Already we can write here. AM perpendicular to BC and PM perpendicular to QR. We already constructed that into perpendicular. Then we can write its proof. For that first we can write it here. What is given here? Triangle ABC similar to triangle PQR. That we can write first here. Triangle ABC similar to triangle PQR. That is already given. Then in a two similar triangle, its corresponding angles are equal. Therefore, we can write it here, angle A is equal to angle P. Angle B is equal to angle Q. And angle C is equal to angle R. Already I wrote it here, A is equal to P, B is equal to Q, and C is equal to R. This we can keep equation number 1. Then, next one. The corresponding sides are proportional. It means the ratio of the corresponding sides are equal. That also we can write it here. AB by PQ. These are the corresponding sides. AB, this triangle PQ. AB by PQ is equal to BC by QR is equal to AC by PR. The ratio of the corresponding sides are equal. Therefore, we can give this one is equation number 2. After that, we have to find areas of triangle ABC and the area of triangle PQR. For finding the area, we can apply this formula. Area of triangle is equal to half into base into height. In triangle ABC, its base is BC and height is AM. Therefore, its area is... Uh, Tri area of triangle ABC is equal to half into BC into AM. 
Therefore, area of triangle PQR also its base is QR and its height is PN. Therefore, its area is half into QR into PN. After that, we have to divide this to one. Area of triangle ABC divided by area of triangle PQR is equal to divide right side also half into BC into AM divided by half into QR into PN. The common this half half we can cancel. The remaining one will get to here A area of triangle ABC divided by area of triangle PQR is equal to BC by QR into AM by PN. And also we can go to equation number 2. BC by QR is equal to AB by P. Therefore, in the place of BC by QR, we can write it here AB by P2. Because these both are equal. Therefore, here we can write in the place of BC by QR, AB by P2. Therefore, we can write here area of triangle ABC divided by Area triangle PQR is equal to AB by PQ in the place of BC by QR. AB by PQ into AM by PN. This we can give equation number 3. And now we can write these two small triangles. Triangle ABM and triangle PQN. This left side triangle. These triangles already we taken here, triangle ABM and triangle PQM. In these two triangles, just you see, go to... Now from these two triangles, triangle ABM and triangle PQM, we can go to equation number 1. There is already mentioned angle B is equal to angle Q. Here already I written, it is from equation number 1. Then again we can take these two angles, angle A, M, B and uh, angle P, N, Q. These both angles are 90 degrees. Therefore we can say these both angles are uh, equal, that is angle M is equal to angle N is equal to 90 degrees. Therefore these both angles are uh, equal. Once again you see here. This angle, angle M, 90 degree, angle M also 90 degree. Therefore, we can say angle M is equal to angle M. In this two triangle, this small triangle, triangle ABM and uh, triangle PQM, already we proved that uh, two angles are uh, equal. Angle B is equal to angle Q and angle M is equal to angle L. It means according to A, A similarity, angle, angle similarity, we can write it here, triangle A, B, M, similar to triangle P, Q, M. A, B, M, similar to triangle P, Q, M. Triangle A, B, M, Similar to triangle PQN. Its reason is A, A similarity. Two angles are equal. In a two similar triangle, the ratio of the corresponding sides are equal. Therefore, we can write it here AM by PN. These are the corresponding sides. AM by PN. AM by PN is equal to AB by PQ. These all are the corresponding sides of these two triangle triangle ABM and the triangle PQM. Already we can write it here. AM by PN is equal to AB by PQ. This we can give equation number 4. Then again we can take equation number 3 and equation number 4. What is equation number 3? Area of triangle ABC divided by Area of triangle PQR is equal to AM by AB by PQ is equal to AM by PN. According to, from this equation, we can take it here in the place of AM by PN. What is AM by PN? Is equal to AB by PQ. Therefore, in the place of 
am by pm we can give ab by pq you see here i wrote it here area of triangle abc divided by area of triangle pqr is equal to there is already ab by pq again in the place of am by pm we can give am by pm is equal to ab by pq therefore here once again i wrote here ab by pq instead of am by pm now we can write here area of triangle abc divided by area of triangle pqr is equal to ab square divided by pq square it means ab into ab ab square pq into pq pq square then we can go to equation number 2 you see here ab by pq is equal to bc by qr is equal to ac by pr it means ab square by pq square that is equal to bc square by qr square that is equal to ac square by pr square therefore we can write it here area of triangle abc divided by area of triangle pqr is equal to ab square by pq square is equal to bc square by qr square is equal to ac square by pr square this is the theorem now already proved this one